CTE Master Series Video 1, Disguised Pivoting, the Target. Disguised Pivoting is my preferred CTE Pro 1 method for applying center to edge aiming. Do I use Pro 1 every now and then? Rarely. Do I use basic CTE? Quite a bit, actually. There is, and I will develop this as we go along, there is a very, very thin line at the mastery level between basic CTE and disguised pivoting. It's just a matter of whether you go to the target or you pick up the perception first. One or the other can happen in a split second. I can often be very well aware of which one it is I'm picking up first, but it, I mean, it's boom. It's one or the other. So, uh, I will develop that in additional videos as we go along. But let's get down to the nuts and bolts of disguise pivoting, the target. I'm not sighting consciously. I'm not aiming consciously. I'm not at parallax consciously. I'm not gearing or stepping consciously. But underneath the conscious mind, into the subconsciousness, when we think about those 40 million things that can happen a second within our visual intelligence, within our mind, there's absolutely some processing going on subconsciously, which is where you want it. That's when you can get into that zone the most effectively. But you see, that can work for me because I've programmed a computer. I've programmed what it is that occurs between these two ears by extensive work with Pro One, by extensive work with Basic CTE, so now I'm at the point to where I have evolved to where all I have to do is just see the key ball object ball relationship essentially from a subconscious perspective and go to the target, which is the step center. You see, this time my attention went to the cue ball. I didn't go to the object ball to sight. I went directly to the target. Now, when I go directly to this target, I can pick up the missile, the no imagination shot line. The, the, the sight line is in the background if I want to access it as my students know. So when I walk up to this relationship, it's just it's a, it's really a effortlessly it's, it's effortlessness is what it is. It's, it's, I see a geared relationship subconsciously and I go to the target. There's nothing that can be faster than that. I don't care what it is. There's nothing faster than being able just to align perfectly to the target. Essentially without having to look at the object ball. 90, 95, 99% of my vision consciously goes to the target. Then I pick up the, the missile, the no imagination shot line. I'm not involved in a perception here. I'm beyond that. I'm past that. I can pick it up if I want. But for this particular shot, it's just I'm going to, I'm going to just stay in parallax as I go down and go straight to the target. What can be more effortless than that? I'm going to the target. The target is the cue ball. There's nothing on this object ball that is a target. The gearing, the perception, the aim line, the parallax, all that stuff is, it has been relegated to my subconsciousness because I have taken the time to program what it is that is between my two ears. Now, there is a thin line between basic CTE and disguised pivoting at this level. 
So if I were to pick up the perception here first and then go to the target, that's technically basic CTE. And you might have even noticed that as I do that, my cue is slightly turning in from the outside. So if I want, if I have some doubt about any cubologic ball relationship that creeps in, then I, I can without W without any effort, I can just move right into basic CTE, pick up the perception first, then go to the target. So, when I'm playing, there are times I pick up the perception first, then the target, but when it's pure disguised pivoting, it's just straight to that missile line. And I'm looking at the cue ball probably 95% of the time, 100%. Actually, with the peripheral vision on the object ball. You see, when I'm sighting for basic CTE, I've got 100% of my vision consciously on the object ball. Peripherally, I'm picking this up. So I will develop, I will develop for all of these approaches what the proper eye pattern is. Because when we talk about eye patterns for conventional aiming, it's a different deal. The way you use your eyes and the way you see the cube on the object ball is entirely different when you're using centered edge aiming. So I'm going to get into the nuts and bolts of how you use your vision. How do I know that? Because I've been laboring at this for 18 years to understand it so I can bring it to you. I want you to have it. I've said it often. Uh, you know, I, I just want to make sure this is left behind before I kick the bucket. And knock on wood, I'm in plenty of good health right now. But it, it's important to me that no one else has to go through what I've gone through to get this. I want to leave no stone unturned. There is no doubt in my mind. It's just a matter of time. CTE is going to go around the world. You know why? Because it's so simple. Three aim lines make all shots. Sighting is so simple. This whole process is dead simple. So I'm bringing it to you with every ounce of heart that I can, with every ounce of good intention that I can. And in spite of the, the, the knocks that have occurred along the way, I'm in there. I'm in there fighting for you, I'm in there fighting for CTE Pro 1. I'm in there fighting for how hoods work. So, uh, there's not been a better time in the last 20 years to learn center edge aiming as there is right now. You are in the sweet spot. So, I hope that you'll consider purchasing my book. It means a lot to me. I go through a lot of effort with these videos. Uh, I spend a lot of time on group, so that's one way that you can help me out. These books are not going to last forever. You do want to secure one. They're going to be collector's items because one of these days they won't be available. You can check this book out at justcuit.com. Thank you for your attention.